G'day everybody and welcome back to Reactor Gaming with Chris and James and welcome back to the Sons of the Forest. We are on part three and the final part for this series of the Ultimate Beginner's Guide on how to build a base. So what we've done so far is got the kill box here, got the traps set up, got a tiny little house over there that we still need to finish off a little bit. Uh, James has added some more sticks along the wall. Just that extra little bit of security. You never know. I doubt they're going to come in there, but, you know, cannibals. Oh, that's right. And he added a whole bunch of turtle traps, even in the water for some reason. Yep. Da, da. They get down in there. Go down in there. There you go. <laughs> Fair enough. That's pretty fun. All right, sweet. What we're going to do today is we're going to set up some, probably some gardening, uh, gardens and stuff like that. Get all your basic needs sorted. I'm thinking, shall we add like an armory? Yeah. We yeah. Don't, don't need to. We've sort of covered majority of the basic building things that we need to do here. Um, We need a proper door here too, James. You want to sort that out for me, please? Yep. Just get an actual lockable door just for whatever reason if they get in here. Yep. I'll so make unlikely. It even so unlikely. But what I want to do quickly is add a couple of francs in here. See how far they get. Let's just go 10. Let's see how they go. I want to observe actually from up here. They're just going to run off into the wild. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those traps are sweet. They're killing them. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> See, there you go. The sticks are perfect, man. That's such a good little defense. Yeah. Okay. So simple. So... Oh, there's Virginia. She finally decided to show up. Here's one more here. Let's see what he does. Come on. Come on. He's going to run? Or is he going to eat his mate? Uh, yeah. Nah, he's going to run. He's running. He's running. He's free. <laughs> Damn it. I just added one extra bloody cannibal to the world. Oh, prevents you to build a cure, bud. I'm going to add a couple more. No, what, do you know what you got to do? I'm not adding a big boss. No. Put um the red guys in. What are they? What are they called? Uh, uh, hang on. Um, if you go to your, if you go to um, insert, then over to your left side of the thing. Frank, it is. That's the only one I know. All right. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh god, they're setting themselves on fire. Those traps haven't been reset. Where's Calvin when you need him? <laughs> Heavy mail. I just want to see how far they get in here. Okay. So one's here. Oh, the spikes. They're getting over some of the spikes. I'm just trying to see where our weak point is. Well, all of them are dying. Our weak, our weak point is Calvin. Yeah, 100%. Oh, oh. just... There's a few more around here. Oh. So eventually, they'll probably end up killing themselves somehow. Yeah. They're not coming inside, are they? No, God, no. They ain't getting through. Oh, someone's already set up the trap. Okay. Yeah, I tried to set the correct one, but I... Yeah, they just I... axe themselves on the, um, on the sticks. Yeah. 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 Oh, dang. He's just wandering off. Where are you going, buddy? He's slowly... Um, limping. Limping away, yeah. <laughs> He'd be right, won't he? Oh, he's there, there he goes. <laughs> he's running. He's running. He was pretending. He, he, was, was, he was playing possum. Possum. <laughs> Raccoon. Oh, Raccoon. He's, he's too fast. Look how fast that bastard runs. <laughs> Jesus. Here he goes, bloody thinking... I'm thinking he's about to die, but no, no. Yeah. No. no he, he's free in the world. He'll be back at some stage. Don't worry about it. 
Anyway, let's get back to back it. In the end. Let's get back to the actual uh, task at hand. <laughs> we get a little sidetrack there. Well, I did. <laughs> All right, what do we need? What do we need? I need some logs. Yeah, you got um, some logs over here. You got some rocks there. We got a lot to fill in here. So let's do a garden straight yeah. along here. What do you reckon? Yep. You gonna do it in timber? Yeah. Yeah, because obviously when you're starting out, when you're starting the, out, uh, this is the easiest material to get. Yeah. Obviously, you can do stone if you want to. It doesn't really matter too much. But we're going to set up a nice little garden along here. Oh, I'm just thinking. Should I put lights underneath? Yeah. Yeah? All like right. The thing. Let me get the basics set up. Hey, what about torches? In there? Yeah. Eh, torches probably would be easier in some ways, but for a beginner or person that's sort of just starting right, yeah. Cloth is hard to find. Uh, I would oh. say wire and light bulbs are very abundant. Same as um, solar panels. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah. Because over in that camp there, isn't there some in there? There's tons. Yeah. So every time you reload, you've got a whole bunch of wire and light bulbs and whatnot, solar yeah. panels. So this is why I'm thinking this might be the best way to do it. Yeah. Okay. I would like you to please... Yeah. Set me up with two to three um, panels, please. Okay. And we're going to quickly do this. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Back once we finish this, put it off. Okay. That's all sorted. Now, obviously, if you want to, you could close these up. You don't have to have them open like this. Close them up if you like. I'm going to leave them open because I never have before. And maybe I'll let through a little bit more light than it normally does. So all we did was run wire on the back wall along these ones here. Light bulbs going into that. And then from there, all we did was just hide a few solar panels under the floorboards. Doesn't have to be under the floorboards. That's just what we choose to do. It's nice and clean and tidy that way. Get rid of excess planks. So all we do now is add a whole bunch of planters. Just a ton of planters. You could use the ones that have feet. It doesn't matter. I find it sometimes easier just to use those ones because then they're all going to be the same height. Um, but then a lot of the time I won't. I'll use the um, ones that hang off the wall. Just right. for the habit, isn't it? It is a little bit. All right. We'll be back once we finish this off. Alrighty, the garden is complete. We got the lights underneath. We got the garden all planted. Don't know why I put the stuff on the top there. I'm not too sure if we like it or not, but it's there for now. We could put some planks on top of it to kind of cover it a little bit, but you know, left it open. I put some torches up around here everywhere. Um, I'll show you in a second what everything looks like at the night time. James started putting some light bulbs underneath here. So for the walkway, um, let's actually quickly go to night, see what this looks like. Beautiful. Beautiful. Looks lovely. Need a probably a little bit more light down there. Yeah. Let's go check out the plants. That's what I want to look at. So all those light bulbs are just underneath there. And they shine through and they look really nice. I think everyone will agree that looks great. I also did up on the waterfall, put some torches up there. I was going to go all the way up. I thought, yeah. Maybe, maybe I will. I don't know. Not too sure. We still need to do power on the inside of the actual build itself. We are getting there very shortly. First, before we do that, James is going to finish off the light bulbs and we're going to get started on a little garden shed here. Maybe not so much a garden shed, but we're going to have some tools, some food, things like that in there. Where are you up to, James? Should I start on this area here? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be there in, in a second. Okay. I'm just... Uh lighting up there have, we go have the smoke <laughs> no no <laughs> that stuff stunts your growth <laughs> that's why i'm six four yeah shouldn't have smoked <laughs> could have been a basketball player <laughs> there we 
go. That's going right, to be a little right. garden shed. Hey, have you got power running that I could run through the fence line? Yeah. Yeah, run it. I just got to pick up the front entry point. It's just under here. So if you take off here, there you go, take that one there and drive it along like that. Yeah. There's only two under there. I'm only putting a couple here anyway, dude. Yeah, Probably like right. four, actually. Yep. That should be enough. All right. Um, and then I just need to put a little roof going. on this. Got to put a little plum roof on here. Yep. Yeah, it looks good. Sounds like a plan. Let's get this up. Should I do it flat or just put a little... Um, Awning, a uh, little... Uh, res uh, what they call them? Uh, a yeah. raised section. Just try to think if I should or not. Like quarter high, half high? I'd go probably half high. Yeah. All right. We'll do a halfy. Oops. Very odd. Beautiful. I wonder what that's about. Go so half high like this. But we're not going to fill the roof completely. I'll show you in a second why. Ah, oh, balls. I just fell in the water. Outside, the, outside the perimeter. Ooh, it's scary out here. <laughs> it's dark <laughs> out there. It's dark and spooky. Ah, that's good. Much better with the light coming through here. Yeah. We can see our victims. I feel better Being and safer pushed. inside here. Alright. And we're just going to... Put a little bit like that. There we go. Cut that off a little bit. That's going to be a bit hard to do it here. Oh no, should be right. There we go. I just heard somebody attacking outside. And they've hit a uh, tortoise, tortoise shell. Got him? Yeah, got him. <laughs> nice. That's why we have defenses. Okay, so this bit here, we're going to go not every one, but every second one. It's what we call a plum roof. Um, Plumberry, another YouTuber. I saw her do it on her channel, so I just dubbed it the plum roof. Yep. Uh, every second one, oh. and it allows light to come through. Why is it? Looks like our defenses are working quite nicely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We need to, it would be good if we could set up some um, spotlights out there hidden so we yeah. can see what's, and, and a bit of popcorn. Beautiful. What are we going to put inside the shed? Uh, we're just putting, um, uh, what they call it, uh, shelving with uh, like. Do you want a desk in here? Yeah. Oh, like a workbench. Yeah. Well, can we, should we put that in the, no, we'll put a workbench in here. Alrighty. We're going to put a workbench right here in the middle. And what we're going to put around it is some gun racks. Now, yep. what you could use the gun racks for is, well, exactly what it is. Guns. Gun racks. But we're going to use them uh, for a tool shed. Yep. So you're going to have all your garden tools. Ah. Oh. So stupid, I should have made that go over a little bit further. Machetes. Chainsaw. Uh, you could put like... Um, all I'm hearing is the... You what? All I'm hearing is turtles going off. Oh, yeah? The turtle shell traps? Yeah. <laughs> That's number three. Oh, you can't put that there. All right, so your basic stuff. Once you get all these bits of equipment, you're going to put your chainsaw on there. Well, I will anyway. You don't have to. You put whatever you want. Put a little chainsaw on there. A couple of our... Not that. A couple of our axes. Oopsie. And what else? Put our other axe on there. 
Hey, what about um, setting up some pickaxe? Um, what other tools could we put in there? Guess you could use the machete for you to take down some bush. Yep. What about, uh, uh, spears? And a repair tool for your yeah, base. Repair tool. There we go. Got a shovel? Oh, uh, yeah, shovel. That would have helped. That's right. And we're going to put, we're going to put an actual gun here, though. Yep. Actually, we're going to put two guns here. Because, why not? Let's see if we can make a shotgun with a torch on it. This actually gives a really good effect. Like the nice blue light. We're going to whack that right there. And that'll give you a cool blue light effect. Let's do the same thing with the handgun. Don't need to silence it, but you know. It looks better. I actually really like the silence handgun. Yeah. Alright, that, 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 and that's out of here. Geez, that blue shows up, doesn't it? Yeah, I love the blue. And we got the blue lights. What else do we need? We need a little chair. A little chair in here as well. And I'm probably going to put some storage racks. We definitely need some storage racks. Let's put a couple of these bad boys in here. We'll fill them up with whatever your heart desires. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's just a little shed. We're going to do another one here for um, our wood and stone and everything like that storage. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let me steal one of them. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to build it across, eh? Yep. Um, Chris, I was thinking. Yeah. Do you know for the top of the, um, the, uh, top of the, uh, garden over there? Why don't yeah. we put tarps on the roof? Yeah, I was thinking about doing that. Um, you can do it. Yeah. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest. Bit of a pain. Okay, need a half log. Alright, finish this off. Back in a sec. Okay, the next area, we're just going to be using this as a bit of log storage and stone oh, yeah. storage. So what I'm going to do is just probably put two rows of that. Then we're going to use... That's a good one. Well, why not put some stone in there too, eh? Here you go. Whoop. One second. Let me just put a couple of these up here. Oh, God. There. There. Oh. Beautiful. Try and rustle you up a, a log. I've got one here. All good. Yep. Let's fill those up. Heaps of storage. Good thing to have. You never know. I always like to keep all of my stuff filled up. I'll use that last when I have no other choice. Or if I use it, I fill it straight back up when I was building properly without using any cheats or anything like that. Yeah. What else do I need to do? I'm going to put one more set of lights in here. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's pretty... That's good, man. That's good. Yeah, do you know what it looks like that you've done? Looks like stables. Yeah. They definitely look like stables. Yeah. You should have horses in there. There we go. I like that. Yeah. So I've never built anything like that before. That was the first. Mm. That's the first, and it came up pretty good. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. What nice. else can we do on this build? Uh, I wanted to do a seating area, 
like a dining area, and then we need to start going into that um, that house to finish it off as well. Yep, yeah, I'll bring you over. A Would you like to start on the house while I start on the outdoor area here? Yeah, I'll get some um, lights going. Um, we're doing lights, uh, uh, sorry, LEDs, aren't we? LEDs on the top of the... Um, yeah, yeah, let's just do lights. Yeah, LED lights. All right, okay. I'm going to do it right up against here. Well, not right up against it, but I'm going to do it like around here. That should be enough. Yep, that should be plenty. Let's quickly put that up. And one down the middle. You never want to be joining grids. So if you do that and you want to start taking out logs, sometimes it won't. If you keep it under five, you won't have any issues by pulling any of these out. That's the good thing about it. So what I need to do now to keep this upright, I have to get some half logs. Oops. Get a couple of halfies. Chuck them in each four corner. And that'll allow us now to take out the remaining logs that you just don't want in your way. Plus, it looks a lot better. Beautiful. From there, we're going to go only a quarter roof. Show you real quick. One there. One there. That's enough. We'll get a full log. Pop it down that way. That way. And now that will allow you to go down that way as well. Let's do that all the way across. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. That way, let's do the same thing. There we go. And all we do from there is just fill that in. This part sucks because as soon as you start putting them down here, it's going to start spitting out a lot of little bits and pieces, which I personally don't like the way they've done that. They used to take up an entire entire um, plank but not anymore but look at all the debris that it leaves and that makes it very very wasteful oops take all that out yeah look at this look at all this waste let's take those ones out no more around. Beautiful. Alrighty. I'll be back in a second once I clean up this stuff. Alrighty. That's all done. I just put some solar panels under the floor there. Put a couple of light bulbs in there for us. Now we're just going to get some tables and chairs going here. So I'm just going to get probably three tables. Line them up. Join them up together. Like so. Try to do a little bit better than I did because that doesn't look overly straight. It's hard sometimes. That should be, yeah, it's a bit wonky, but it'll do. And we're going to put some rugs on them. Give it like some tablecloth look. One more. Like so. Now we just need a whole bunch of chairs. We're going to use these ones here. All right. I'm going to do this back in a second. All righty. The outdoor dining area is all done. How you going, Mr. James? Oh, I'm not liking what I'm doing at the moment, mate. Oh, really? Let's go have a look. I'm not liking it at all. We need a bed. We need to cut some windows in this thing, too. Oh, do we need windows in this thing? Not really. It's not that big. This, this um stone thing. Use you, you can't use. It's so hard to fill now, eh? Yeah. Since it's they did the release. Done something. Yeah, hundred percent. Alrighty, everybody, that should wrap it up for this video and for the series. So hopefully that has helped a lot of people out. How you could build like a little build. Just a little defense around here. 
always recommend using water if you're just starting off. Especially with the new platforms. It makes life a hell of a lot easier. You don't have to wait for winter. None of that. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we got our little um, outdoor area. Got our garden going. You know the only other thing I didn't mention? The turtle What's shell uh, waters. Oh, yeah. So you don't have to gather water from, you know, here. Yep. You can actually just wait for rainwater if you're in a location where there is absolutely no water. Which there are places where it's a bit of a hike to get anything. So turtle shells are really good. But we're in a location where water is abundance, obviously. Yeah. So what you got to do is just keep on fill refilling your pot. Yeah. Don't have to leave the base at all. Yeah. I think if you, like, I don't have God mode on. Let me see. Give me a second. If I drink straight out of the creek. Can't for some reason. Are you full? Oh, there we go. Okay. No, it does. Yeah. I had God, on, God mode on earlier. So, yeah. If you... Yeah, if you're... It will make you sick by drinking it. So, usually, um, medication will fix that problem for you. Or the herb mixes. Or eating uh, food. Like the dry-aged food or something like that. Eat one of them. That'll start to get rid of your sickness as well. So you have to boil, you have to drink from there. Easiest way. One last thing I wanted to mention before we actually finish up is all our bases and everything like that will be in our Discord. So if you want to hop over to the Discord, I'll leave it uh, a link down in the comment. That usually lasts for seven days, the link. So if it doesn't work for you for whatever reason, just leave a comment down below and I'll send you a direct link. It'll be the easiest way. So we have a whole section where you could take the save file of our builds and use it as your own. So for whatever reason, if you want to use this as one of your one of your bases, go ahead. All you got to do is join the Discord for that one. So yeah, hopefully this uh, was helpful. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it. If you could please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. That would be awesome. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.